Welcome to our weekly program, The Inside Story of Chabad in America through the Mindel Archives. This program is a continuation of last week's program about the Freydi Kerebe coming to America and how much he suffered and what he told uh, Rabbi Mindel, Rabbi Chadakov on the boat. So today I want to uh, continue what he told Rabbi Chadakov and Rabbi Mindel after after he coming, they, they were together, they went to Graceland Hotel, we'll talk about that. Uh, so, uh, and Rabbi Mindel was there, Rabbi Chadakov. So they, uh, certain notes over here, I have that Rab, Rabbi Mindel wrote down. Some of them are already in the Sikhs of the Freydik Rebbe, but um, I just put down some Nekudas of some notes. So, the Freydik Rebbe said, I am disturbed what I saw 11 years ago when I came to a visit in 1929. The Freydi Rebbe came in 1929 in America for a visit. He went also to Eretz uh, And he wrote here, People of Haskola, Enlightenment, for years they want to uproot the Jewish schools and teachers to be metame, to contaminate the minds of children with kfira, with atheism in the Eibeshter. I mean, this is those days. We were on the boat, the Fede Karebbe said, 13 days. I did not want to come to America. But I came here by divine providence, by Hashgacha Proteus, and I'm asking Hashem is Barich. We shouldn't fall into the Gashmiyas of America and raise our children with Yerushalayim and not be influenced by the kaltkite, as we spoke last week, cold of, of America, apathy. The Freddy Rebbe coming to America took everything to heart. <clears throat> when he saw <clears throat> The terrible disregard to Taylor Mitzvahs. He saw the pervert Talmud Tatus. Again, like last week, he said, Wormy rabbis. Chilul Shabbos. They desecrated the Shabbos. Stores were open on Shabbos. People, were, women were going with pocketbooks. This was by him, pocketbooks. And driving cars. And they were shopping on Shabbos bread. Again, he mentioned that. This is what Rabbi Mindel wrote. And this all, he says, pains me. We have to tell the fathers and mothers and sisters who desecrate the Shabbos. Keep Taras HaMishpacha, purity of the family, importance of Tfilin, the importance of Tzitzis, importance of Shabbos, send the children to kosher talmuteris and be careful with eating kosher food. I'm taking this from the notes of Rabbi Mindel, what the fake Rabbi said in the, in, the, in the hotel. Save your children from shmad. We have to go from house to house to awaken parents, to awaken Zaydas, Bobes, grandfathers, grandmothers, they should send their children to kosher Talmuteris. And the Freydi Rebbe said, whoever sends their children not to kosher Talmuteris, they are giving their children to Shmad. We have to explain to parents, not Chas Sholem argue. And this is the work of the Agudas Harabonim, to wake up Jews and call on a kaim nefesh achas be Yisrael ki ilu kaim kaim elam oli. Whoever saves one Jew is like saving the whole world. A Jew comes to me, the Freydi Kerebe said, for a bracha, for a refuah. So I ask him, I'm not a doctor. I cannot give a prescription. I just can give a blessing in the name of Taylor. So I ask him, if you believe in me, 
Why don't you believe in God and his Torah mitzvahs? So he answered me that in America there is uzgespilte mitzvahs, uh, washed out mitzvahs. This is what the rabbi told him. So I told him the Torah mitzvahs are nitzchiyim forever, all times and all places. The air of America is spoiled. I want my words should reach the, the entire world, the Fadi Rebbe said. J Jews, Yidin, Torah is our life, and God should give everyone long, long life. This is how the Fadi Rebbe had to break the ice of America. Yidin, Yidin, teachers, mechanchim, educators, there is a God in this world. Don't fall asleep. Go to Frumashul religious synagogues that have religious rabbonim. Show your children love to Taylor Mitzvahs, and God will bless everyone with Bone Chaye Umzeine Revicha, and we should be Mekabul Mashiach Zitkenu Bimahera Viyaminu. That's the notes that the Freddy Kerebe spoke to Rabbi Chadakov, to Rabbi Mindel, or maybe to a Fabringen. These are one of his notes from, from 1940. <clears throat> the Freddy Rebbe was the most warm person. He was a heart sick person. Um, he was refined, soft. But when he came to America in 1940, and he saw what's going on, he had to speak Musa words. He had to speak sharp words. And Baruch Hashem, look what he accomplished today, how America changed Baruch Hashem. We have yeshivas, we have mikvahs, we have Yiddishkeit. All this started from the Freydi Karebe coming, Tess Odasheni, to break the ice of America. Not to come, no compromise. That's what the Freydi Karebe. And I'll tell you soon a, a story about compromise. It's unbelievable, the Freydi Karebe. Now the Freydi Karebe also spoke to the Talmidim at Tmimim. Rabbi Mindel writes, Tmimim, Chabad, or Chal, from, from Talmidim. He says to them like this, there is a mechitza, there is a thin line between denial in God and apathy, coldness. coldness. And the purpose of the worm rabbis, again, to poison Yiddishkeit is something that uh, the Agudas Rabbonim should take care. Now, um, I had a program once about the 500 rabbis that the Freydi Kerebbe sent also a delegation. This was in 1940, 44, 45. They went to Washington to President Roosevelt. He sent then Rabbi Mindel. He sent Rabbi Quint. He was also a secretary. He sent Horav Zalman Gorari, Oliver Sholem, also. And he sent Rabbi Nyomin Levitin, Oliver Sholem, the all in Eloma Emes. He sent them then as a delegate to, to Washington. And the Rebbe said, he sent to, to, uh, to President Roosevelt, but the Friedrich Rebbe said, the problem was the rabbis, the worm rabbis. If not the worm rabbis, they would accomplish what they have to. It's not President Roosevelt. It was the Verim Dikerabonim. He was very much against that. Now he continued speaking to the Talmidim Hatmimim. This is Nukudis uh, of the note. When a Chosid learns Torah, or a chosid gives a lecture, he has to know that Taira is Chachmasa Yeritzainai Shel HaKodesh Baruch the knowledge, the wisdom of the Ebishter, and the will of the Ebishter. The lecturer should put away his own thoughts. He gave Musa also the Tmimim. He said here, his yeshes, his haughtiness, 
and not lecture only intellectual, it was very sharp, and try to impress others. And he prepares a few speeches, a few maimorim he knows. Mainly, he wants to impress that he's a good speaker. But it's not yoytze min halev, nichnas el halev. A chosid has to be a penimi and not chitzen and not superficial. Very sharp words. Some shaitim, the Fadi Kareba called shaitim, I've been written down here, fools, learn chsidus, tzulib chsidus, of the sake of chsidus. They think of themselves that they understand everything, they know a few maimorim, and they speak pust, uh, empty, I don't know, words, wild buichs for us, empty words, they lecture and explain Hasidische matters, then the, list, the, listeners, the, the listeners would just know the knowledge, but it will not bring them to be Hasidim. It has to be, the lecture should be, Yoytze min halev, nichnas al halev. That's why the Feidi Kerebbe spoke then. Their intention is only to understand Hasogas al godliness, not this, not Aveda serving God. And that's the opposite of the purpose of Chassidus. God should awaken them from above and they should do tshuva. The purpose of learning Chassidus and lecturing Chassidus, they should, be, they should become a servant of Hashem with good character. The same goes also with a Goen, a Lalamdin. It should be Maisa practical. And it should be shivim ponim la and not with their yeshesh, if they, with their holiness, it becomes shivim achar la They have to have little uh, nullification to tailor. This is what the Fadika Rebbe said. This is from the notes. Now, I want to say something here. When the Fadika Rebbe came, he came to the Grayston Hotel. He was there a few, it was, after a few months, he didn't have any money. And he came to break the ice of America. And without money, you can't do anything. So, but they were a few people, well, well-to-do people. And they came to, they wanted to make a Malava Malka, a dinner, to help the Frey de Karebe. There were a few people. There was the, 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 the Kramer brothers. They were Stillman. There were more people. And they, so they got together to make a Malava Malka. I think it was after three months after the Freddy Kerebe came to America. And they made him love Malka. I think I mentioned it once, but whoever didn't listen can mention it again. So they made him love Malka. Uh, this was in the in Jewish center, of, I think of the shul of Rabbi Young. There was used to be a Rabbi Young. That's a program by itself about Rabbi Young with the Freddy Kerebe. But we're not going, we have no time for this today. So the 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 Rebbe, the, 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 the people... Uh, were ready for Malke. The Freddy Rebbe was sitting in a wheelchair in the kitchen while they were preparing. Rebbe Tzestenesore was also there. Rabbi, so they, they called over Rabbi Mindel and they said to him, tell the Rebbe we are ready for the Malava Malke. You can bring in the Rebbe and here is a list of our program tonight. Show the Rebbe the list. So he went to, with the list to the Fadi Kerebe in the kitchen and he showed the list and he told the Rebbe there's a, there's a program. The Rebbe said, read it. So he started to read. The first thing is they're going to sing a Zionist song. It's an, I don't know, it was uh, an Atik, I, I, I don't know what it was. A Zionist song, it says. It's a Zionist song. Fadi Kerebe looked up and he stopped and he says, them nigen wird man nicht singen. They're not going to sing the song. Rebbe Tzishten Sore was shocked. <laughs> Her son, here he is he's not well. Here are people that want to help him. And he's telling them that they're not going to sing the song. By them, this was important. Uh, but Fik uh, Rebbe said, he said, Zogzei, tell them, he said, 
to Rabbi Mindel, tell them they're not going to sing the song. So he went to the people and he said, the Rebbe said that this song they're not going to sing. Whew, they were mentioned. So they, they said, okay, we're going to walk out. This is a must by them. So he went back to the Freydik Rebbe and he told them that they said that they're going to walk out if you don't. So the Freydik Rebbe said to Rabbi Mindel, tell them, tell them, Zon they gain gesunter hate. Let them go and be well. A zevi der Ebrish that is given mituns in Europe, a zevi as I mituns in America. Just like God was with us in Europe, God would be with us in America. Zon they gain gesunter hate. It was shocking. So he went back to the people and he told them that the Rebbe said, "Go home, be well, zay gesunt." The, just like the Abishta was with us in Europe, even in America. Three quarters of the people left. Only a few people remained. And these people, from these few people, then they wheeled in the Freydika Rebbe. They had a Malava Malka, they didn't make much money, because most of the people left. But from these people, is given, it became later on, these people built in 770, about 770, whatever we have today, came from the from these people that were left on that Malava Malkia. So this, this is called, this is how the Freydik Rebbe not compromise. We know what happened in, in, in Russia when they had a gun on the table. The Freydik Rebbe did not compromise Yiddishkeit. So this we can learn that Yiddishkeit, you cannot compromise. If you be strong, you will succeed. You'll have Atzlacha. <clears throat> Mirza Hashem, next week is um, um, Purim and the Purim is Thursday so we're not going to have a program on Purim so we'll have a program a week after uh, we should all have a Freilche Purim <clears throat>